by phone. He said it was the worst storm that they'd ever been through in Haiti. My heart is broken. I can I, I, I cannot understand uh, the country that I love is going through this. Thompson runs a nonprofit named Least of These that benefits Haitian children. We support a school there where we feed the kids every day. His goal is to raise enough money to build new homes for the hurricane victims. 100% of the money donated goes to the mission. I'm going down in a couple weeks, so um, I'd like to go down there and, and bring some good news back. Dr. Charitable has a musical fundraiser planned Saturday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the church. He's hoping for a huge turnout. I beg them to open their heart, to open their pocket, to help the people in Haiti. All right, well, if you'd like to have some more information about the fundraisers, just go ahead and visit our website at WJLA.com. Now, here's a good tip for the generous watching right now. Before you make a donation to any organization, it's always a good idea to make sure the charity has boots on the ground in the impacted area. Also, find out if the charity is providing direct aid or donating to another organization. In the Satellite Center, I'm Q McCray, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, crew. Uh, Q, one of the things I heard today that was really amazing to me was hearing a, a Haitian diplomat talking on television about how the hearts of Haitians are going out to the folks in Florida who are suffering. Oh, really? Yeah, can you imagine that? Wow. It's just awful oh, to yeah. see what's happened the there. Best for them. Yep. And, and this storm is still going. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's slowly getting weaker. That was expe expected all along because it was over and it's been interacting with the coastline and that mm -hmm. the friction kind of decreases a little bit, but it's still a powerful storm with 110 mile per hour winds in the center. And the problem is uh, it, the center may cross the coast of South Carolina. So, uh, wow. you know, we, we're not even done with it yet. So there's the uh, latest uh, animation. You can see by the bright red colors in the middle there of the circulation, that's where the most active thunderstorms, concentration of heavy rain and thunderstorms, then there are bands of showers and thunderstorms that rotate around it and the ones coming in from the ocean have been producing a few tornadoes on their way that is very commonplace all right the numbers uh, 110 mile per hour sustained winds now that's down a notch and that knocks it right down from the low end category three to a high end category two hurricane uh, winds still can still gust in a few spots right around the center of circulation at 130 miles per hour it's about 130 uh, miles uh, to the south, 135 miles south of Savannah, Georgia, and about 40 miles east of Jacksonville. The uh, center never hit the coast, but the center became very close at times overnight early this morning, the coastline, and now it's moving to the north, and it is expected to make a turn. The question is, will it turn before it makes contact with the land? But even if it doesn't make contact, this continual pounding of the ocean water, the inundation along the coastline, and the huge waves on top of the surge are going to make uh, for, unfortunately, some very nasty headlines through Georgia and South Carolina, especially all the way up to Myrtle Beach, especially the low country of South Carolina and the oceanfront uh, communities there as well. So 105 miles per hour winds and a, a slight weakening by the time it gets abreast Savannah by about 2 in the morning. Then 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, it'll be uh, just north or just south of Myrtle Beach, and eventually it will continue its turn out to sea. But again, this is just the computer modeling saying this seems to be the most likely uh, track, but there's no uh, way you can tell for sure whether the center is going to wobble a little bit one way or the other, and that little wobble inland, unfortunately, will make a huge difference in the winds that come ashore. Now here we're uh, watching uh, wind gusts with interest, and we can see the wind gusts farther south, once the storm has passed by, are dropping a bit. 52 mile per hour gusts reported recently in Jacksonville, 45 at Brunswick, 44 at another location there, and 45 mile per hour gusts reported at Savannah, and those wind speeds will increase. So you can see the heavy thunderstorms right on the northern band, these uh, bands circulate around the eye, and those are the ones that rotate in and bring the pounding rain and still the very, very strong winds. And you can just imagine here in our future cast, as the center of circulation gets closer to Charleston, parts of South Carolina, not only the heavy rain, but the incredible winds keep spinning and spinning and lifting the levels of water up especially at times of high tide. This is uh, 3 o'clock uh, tomorrow morning, so the heaviest part will be over eastern and coastal sections of South Carolina, moving up towards Wilmington, and eventually farther uh, to the north, almost to Hatteras. Hurricane warnings have been extended all the way up through Wilmington, North Carolina. You can watch this storm and our local weather anytime by downloading our StormWatch 7 Ops at the Apple Store or on Google Play. Now, as far as our future cast locally, cloudy skies tonight. Rain's coming in here tomorrow, but it's from a cold front. That's going to generate most of the rain, periods of rain throughout the day. It could be heavy briefly. It will clear out of here late tomorrow night and Sunday. And beyond that, look spectacular. We are looking at beautiful weather here for Sunday afternoon and for the next few days. In fact, our future cast of winds here, check this out. I mean, we're going to get northerly winds blowing in here on Sunday with bright sunshine. 
We're going to have wind gusts to 29, 30 miles per hour, even stronger along the bay. But that is good stuff. Mm -hmm. Breezy, yeah. fresh, nice. good weather yeah, by Sunday. Looks great. Tomorrow, okay. not so much. That's the kind of fall we want around yep. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Doug, thank Thanks, you. Doug. All right. Well, still ahead here, uh, strange surprises. What we found inside government vehicles, these are vehicles that were being auctioned off. Yeah, plus fighting back, caught on video how a man took matters into his own hands when armed men barged into his garage. Now at Haverty's Furniture, it's our fall savings event where you can create the perfect home. From now until October 10th, everything is on sale. Save on furniture and accessories for every room. Plus, enjoy 36 month no interest financing. With Haverty's, your home can be perfect, even when life isn't.